Now, this is the storm system we've been tracking that's been slamming California, and the northern edge of this thing is trying very hard to get up here into our part of Washington and Oregon. Those of you in the Southern Valley, you're starting to see some showers from this, but at the same time, we've got colder air to the north that's ready to come on down. Now, the coldest air right now is, is in central Washington over to eastern Washington and the Idaho Panhandle. It basically drops south as we go through the next 24 hours, and then some of that cold air will find its way as it typically does, right the east wind right through the gorge and that's going to cool the Portland metro area. So that's why tomorrow will feel so much colder than today. The east wind is actually going to physically get colder on us. So what are we tracking in the updated weekend forecast? Number one, the cold and the wind. I think highs tomorrow closer to 40 degrees here in the metro area, colder in the gorge. Best chances for a wintry mix around Portland, which could be snowflakes mixing in or maybe some sleet, which would be little pieces of ice falling. That'd be Saturday evening into early Sunday. I'm not totally convinced we'll have much moisture at that point, but if we do, it would be cold enough for a wintry mix. Then accumulation. I don't see that really in the metro area. Most likely that is limited to the gorge and, of course, up on Mount Hood. So we have a winter storm watch stretching from Hood River all the way over towards La Grande. This starts later tomorrow and continues through Monday. Now, our rain and snow forecast shows what goes on as we make our way into the morning. Some regular old rain develops for the central and southern valley. Some snow developing for places like Bend and Sun River and Lapine. Then we go through the day tomorrow, maybe get clipped by a few showers up in Portland. But most of the moisture then kind of funnels up to the Cascades. It is mainly into the gorge. So through tomorrow evening then, afternoon and evening, you'll start to see the snow fly in the gorge, and that increases as we get our way into Sunday morning. If some of this moisture spills a little bit outside the gorge, especially on the east side of town, that could be some snow for the metro area, but probably not accumulating. We'll be watching for that. In the meantime, later Sunday, we get a really warmer and wet batch of moisture coming in from the southwest, and that should warm all of us up. Maybe not the gorge. Though. This is saying, yeah, no problem. The cold's done in the gorge. A lot of times, it takes longer than we think, so we'll be keeping an eye on that. But for tomorrow, you know, it's not too bad of a day other than just a lot cooler, especially as you get north. Areas of snow developing in central and northeastern Oregon in particular. Through the gorge, very windy day tomorrow. Snow one to four inches on Mount Hood. Maybe some sleet is possible later in the day. So our seven-day forecast, the main thing for Portland tomorrow, it's just a lot colder. And uh, then Saturday night into Sunday morning, that's our, those are our best temperatures for sleet or snow. If we have the moisture, that's going to be the key there. And then on Sunday, we warm up to 43 and we do uh, get rid of the east wind. It just looks like the gorge, though, will still hang on to the cold. So lots to track this weekend, and we'll be here to stay on top of All it. Right.